Is this thing on? <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Here, you need to be in the light on the other side. So, unfortunately, about three weeks ago now, um, on my birthday, I dropped my hard drive and lost a whole bunch of footage um, from my travels and adventures and then also a huge chunk of our bus build. So um, I still have some random shots here and there that are saved on random SD cards um, but a lot of it's gone so this is going to be the next video you're seeing. You're going to see a huge jump um, since the last video we have removed the heater. Um, we have painted a majority of the outside of the bus. That you could prove that I didn't just, <laughs> you didn't push me off the fucking ladder. Is that what almost just happened? Yeah. <laughs> I, I asked you to move so I wouldn't hit you and I just shot something like right that way. <laughs> So we got, uh, we took out all the windows, we re cocked them after we painted. We uh, customized some of these windows, unfortunately. I don't think you're gonna be able to see those, but luckily I left the last one over here to do on video. So luckily I could do, we could still do a how to, uh, how, I, how I use the ceiling actually to make these, I don't know if you can see them behind us, to make these, uh, these, th uh, window covers so that uh, not every single window was utilized. So thankfully, I did that, I kind of got forward a little bit, or I shouldn't say I did, that was Natasha, not me. Natasha got forward enough so that we could uh, do a video and I just never got around to it. So if we did lose the video of making the windows, we got that. Um, I did some of the base electrical on the left side, but we'll have a video uh, of what I'm gonna do on the right side. and. Uh, I will, we'll, we'll do that, so that's up to coming. But other than that, basically what we have is an empty bus. Um, and in. today's video is going to be the floor removal. We started it, um, and I think I mentioned that in a previous video. I don't know if that got edited or not. Yeah. Uh, we got like the first chunk done uh, when we first got the bus, but now we actually today did the whole rest of it. This is what happens when you leave spray foam cans on the inside of a frozen bus. Don't do that. Why not? Why? Because I'm learning. Obviously, I don't understand what you're saying, so I want to learn. I, I can't do what I'm telling you to do. That's why I asked you to do it. Otherwise, I'd do it myself. Well, can you show me what you mean? I'm saying just take a chunk of it and rip it. I can't. With all your brute I force. can't do it. Okay. I told you. It's a lot of fast exertion. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, you know. I know you know.
the tools that work the best were the crowbar, the paint scraper, yeah, just pulling it up. I mean, and, there's a lot of things that you could try to do to shortcut it, um, but uh, in the end, I think it's just, I think yeah. what worked best was just patience and elbow grease. Co Corey tried the angle grinder with a... Not an angle grinder, a multi-tool with a, an attachment. Right. The, the attachments are actually meant to do what we did. Um, yeah, it will cut up the floor really well, but um, I think it's more designed for somewhere where they did not paint the floor with the uh, glue before they put it down. Yeah. Because this was pretty bad. It, it didn't work. It just cut the rubber. It didn't actually, like... It did. So if you're looking to cut rubber, use the multi-tool. <laughs> yeah, an oscillating multi-tool multi with a uh, rubber or a rubber cutting attachment. Slice through it. Um, it kind of just makes a bigger mess and it makes it really hard. Because every time you cut a piece off and then it's like... It's a small piece. Yeah, but uh, then you have to start and make your own grip again and pull up until you have it enough to hold on to. And it's honestly... It honestly just... Not not fun. Waste, waste of time. Yeah, I was. I think the easiest was crowbar with some one person with the crowbar and one person pulling was the fastest. Yeah, uh, it's just really hard on our backs and really hard on our arms. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but overall, I'm really happy with today's progress. I'm glad we're working on the bus. We did take a really long break, which is why it's been like six months since yeah. the last video. Yeah, but it's because uh, uh, you know we went from uh, October. Well, we had a, we had a wedding. Two weeks. We had yeah. a wedding. And then my birthday, and then Natasha's birthday, and then we went away again for Christmas. So it was a little hiatus from October to December. Where we got, did nothing. Yeah. But before that, we did a lot of work with painting and stuffing and yeah. all the, that stuff. Yeah. So. No. No, <laughs> it's crazy. Never gets easier. Don't say that. At you least, don't, at you least. Don't say that. At least we get the fun part, like decorating and yeah. designing and. Yeah. I need a drink, hold on. And the people in the video seem to think that we're not pulling hard or anything like that. That's not the case. Oh. 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 You're good, you're good. Just reposition yourself. Listen, I'm tired. And row. You don't need to tell and me what row. to do. I know I'm tired. And doing. row. Put your back into it. My back is done. down the rust, uh, scraping up any glue. Um, our bus was uh, rubber glued directly onto metal, so there's going to be a lot of glue to scrape up. Um, well, luckily, I think because scrub. of that, most of the rust that we're dealing with is on the corners where yeah. water would accumulate from uh, condensation or dripping 
from a stationary bus. Uh, I saw a lot of videos where they didn't have the floor like that, and uh, there were some really bad rust things. Yeah, they, so, I saw a lot of people who had plywood, and the plywood absorbed the water, and then it just sat, and it created yeah. huge... We don't have that. Nope. Um, and I'm really thankful, because I there is rust under the bus, and so I was a little nervous about a few areas, but the most rusty spot underneath the bus, which was a spot that I was worried about before we even bought it, but I sent some pictures to some of our friends that know a little bit more about um, welding and metal, and he didn't seem to think it was that big of a deal. But that spot uh, definitely had a, um, and I filmed this, but like, it's gone, so. Um, the heater definitely at some point had a coolant leak, yeah. and they tear it out, they tore out a piece of it, and did some repair. We've got this weird metal plate that we're gonna probably have to deal with in the future um, that may or may not be welded, we're not sure yet. And then um, there's definitely rust and old coolant in the crack on that side of the bus. So, um, and right underneath that is where that rust damages. So I think the coolant just leaked out from the heater and then went down through the floor and then leaked and in, into the frame. Um, but hopefully it's all stuff that we can really get fixed. We do still have to paint the nose of the bus and the very back of the bus so I can yep. still cover how we painted it um, and how we're gonna move forward because we're actually gonna, we basically just did a rough base coat um, and now we're actually going to sand it down and put a nice sprayed top coat over it when we're done. Uh, that's gonna be one of the last things we do because yeah. I don't wanna touch it again until then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a nightmare to so. paint it. I'm actually kinda of sad that a lot of footage, that, I got some of the footage, but a lot of that footage is gone and uh, there was a lot of swearing and yelling yeah. and <laughs> fights about right that. So, uh, well, yeah. maybe it's a good thing it's not there. <laughs> but, um, so anyways, today was really successful. And if we're not too sore tomorrow, I'm gonna start scrubbing the floor and scraping the rust. Um, and, yeah. and the biggest thing is it, it's winter now. Uh, I know we don't look like it because we're in. We've been had the electric heaters on in here, but yeah, it's actually um, warm considering we live in. Uh, it is the pretty north. warm. Yeah, it's like 40. It was 40 degrees today, so that's yep. actually really warm for December. Yep. Um, we've had some negative degree days already. So, uh, anyways. Um, what we're gonna have to do for the rust removal because it has to be the surface has to be 65 degrees. We're gonna have to heat up the floor itself. So what we're probably gonna end up doing is um, once we scrub and scrape everything, uh, is then putting kerosene heaters underneath the bus. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. So that will be probably the next video after this one. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope we'll be a little bit more consistent with bus updates from now yep. on. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and until next time. Do you remember it? No. Nope. <laughs> Live, love, and prosper. No. <laughs> Live long and prosper. This one. Uh, long until prosper. next time, remember to create, love, and travel on. Bye. Same thing. Spock did it better.